Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CE Week 2015 in New York City on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artsis, thanks so much for joining us. I, I know you're the Terrifics and you make Be Terrific special and I know you're going to be so excited about this next guest. I got to tell you something, I am excited. This man is a visionary, he's a pioneer, and he's a legend. I am honored and humbled to have him join us in our pop-up studio on our set. Welcome, Noel Lee. Thank you so much for joining us on Be Terrific. You are the founder of Monster, Monster Cables, Monster Headphones, Monster Products. Thank you. All right, Michael, thank you. Great uh, to be here, man. It's great to have you here. You changed the business, and I think you, you're an entrepreneur, uh, you're a visionary, and I think with a lot of entrepreneurs, everybody tells you when you start, you're crazy. I, I know you faced this a lot when you started. You had to, because you said to people, I'm going to make audio cables better. And back then, when you started, people had to say, what? Nobody's going to pay for better audio cables. You get them free in the box. Is, I, am I right? You know, it was uh, really difficult at that time. Uh, at, first of all, you're absolutely right. Uh, used to, in those days, it wasn't even about video, it wasn't about TV, it wasn't about phones, it wasn't about tablets, it was about loudspeakers. So, uh, and that was a long time ago, 1978, 37 years old, uh, the, uh, the company is. Not me, Congratulations, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you look like you're not a day over uh, 37. Hey, man, you are so nice. <laughs> so, uh, so, you started the company, you had this vision that we can make audio cable, everybody had these hi-fi stereos. I mean, the 80s, the, the late 70s and early 80s, excess. That's what it was about, right? So let's get this hi-fi stereo in the house, uh, that, that big scene in Risky Business where he slides in his underwear. What does he do right before that? Tom Cruise, he, he <laughs> turns on the hi-fi stereo, dad tells him not to touch it, he jacks the audio audio all the way up, you got Spinal Tap the movie they're talking about, let's have, we're going to have 11, everybody's got 10, we're going to, we have 11 on our amp, right? <laughs> so we want bigger sound, better sound, but the yeah. quality of the sound was being affected by the cables. We had everything else in place, but terrible cables, and we used the cables that came free with those really great speakers. Well, you know, uh, the uh, uh, amplifiers went up, skyrocketed in the amount of uh, wattage you could get, you know, so it wasn't a, 10 watt amplifier, I mean, it was a, a 100 watt, 200 watts, uh, phase linear 400, 400 watts, and then you're trying to squeeze it through a straw. And I saw that as the weak link, you know, because you had really good speakers, uh, turntables in those days, which were uh, really good cartridges, and uh, uh, good amplifiers, okay, but that lousy wide, that was the last part of the system, and we call it the weakest link because you got all this great stuff capable of some great sound and trying to squeeze it through a straw. So I said, no, no, let's open up that straw, okay, and let's figure out what is going on in wires. Well, first of all, it's current and uh, power, but it became much more than that. It was harmonics, it was uh, dynamic range, it was a lot of things that people discovered later about wi uh, wires and cables. So I imagine when you then you go to like, a, uh, at the time it must have been Crazy Eddie, The Wiz, uh, it, it was Circuit City. You go to these places, you say, I've made these cables, they're really good, they're stylish, which was awesome too, and um, you know, you, you guys should sell these because it's going to, it's an, I mean, from a business standpoint, they should welcome you into the store, they should roll out the red carpet because they could say, here, here we go, we're going to sell them the stereo and now we've got an upsell, right? Uh, we're going to sell them these great uh, wires that they need, right? But they, they must have said, uh, it must have been hard in the beginning. Oh, I don't know, hard. we give them for free. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to compete with free. Right. right? And, uh, uh, quality, days, quality competes with free, though. Quality, uh, but, you know, uh, quality competes with free, but it's not, uh, it's not the game changer. Do you, you know? remember your first big sale? Yeah. It was a uh, Pacific Stereo. There was no Best Buy. There was no Circuit City in those days. So Pacific Stereo was more West Coast. Went out to uh, uh, Chicago, it was the farthest that ever got. But I was in heaven. Oh my gosh! I got this. The biggest retailer in the country was 60 stores. <laughs> wow! And they took a chance on me because uh, uh, the uh, manager, the merchandise manager there, was an audiophile. And he just loved the concept. You know, wow, big, powerful wire, but it had to work, right? So we had a little switcher. You can put free stuff on one side, the monster on the other, 
flip back and forth. People go, wow, <laughs> it does work. So uh, it was $20 okay, yeah. in those days for a monster cable. So it wasn't like it broke the bank and you got uh, you know, $1,000 worth of speakers. Right, uh, but, you but, it, but you were competing with free. So then he gets it and you must have been elated. That must have been like, Oh, I've made it. And, and now when it starts to catch on, I imagine musicians loved you because they'd say, the music sounds now like it's how, how it's supposed to sound. Well, it was uh, uh, both ends of the spectrum, right? We're on the listening end, and we did really uh, a good job on uh, getting the proper cables uh, when you're uh, at the tail end. And I said, what about at the beginning? Okay, what's going through that guitar? Okay, uh, and because uh, that's the same signal that eventually gets to the speakers. Then we started to rewire recording consoles. Now these guys, it's a business. They would not do that if it didn't make a difference. So we did uh, all the big consoles uh, and uh, the sound of the different boards uh, that they were uh, familiar with and all the uh, you know, really great musicians, the George Bensons of the world, you know, the Lee Rittenhours of the world, you know, they'd be uh, uh, switching over to our cable because they got more tone, you know, they got more dynamic, so it was uh, richer. So it was a dream for me. I got to sit next to Carlos Santana, man. You know, <laughs> we're talking the, about the. Uh, you know, and he loves spiritual, and and he loves you because you're making him sound better, and then you you become a friends, and and you're 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 I mean you're you're being spiritual with him. It's yeah, amazing. Well, you know that's what he said. You know, I have an interview with him where you know we talk about uh, uh, spiritual things, uh, you know, a higher order of understanding. Yeah, so that's how cables <laughs> would lead to uh, something like that. It was wonderful because uh, music is spiritual you know, it's a uh, experience I think it is I think music is is the great unifier because I think that everybody loves there's not a person in the world who says I don't like music everybody loves music and so you know it really can bring people together and I, I just it's so fascinating and, and you play such a you really do you play such a big role in it I, I'm not making light of this uh, your cables make such a difference and they've changed the way we look at cables and and the world and the way uh, audio can be produced so you go from there um, and, and now you start uh, catching fire, and did you always give the lifetime guarantee? Always, always. Was that ever scary? It's called, uh, it was called Cables Live, uh, Monsters Live Forever, okay, and even with video now, with yeah. HDMI on our highest performance ones, we, uh, we call that a cable for life, wow. uh, guarantee, because the bandwidth, the, the requirements on cable keep changing, and so the cable I designed five years ago, or, the industry standard five years ago it's different. will be different for 4K than it was for a VCR, right? Yes. Or a, a DVD player at 480. So you have to keep increasing the bandwidth. Well, yeah. we were always ahead of the standard. Okay, we always made cables better, so we had so much confidence that this cable will never become obsolete, so we don't have to worry about it. Cable, cable for life guarantee, and then uh, 2K, 4K, now 8K is coming, right? Wow, it's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Wow, um, I, I, I love that, and, and people don't realize, like, they put it in homes, it's no big deal, but when you put it in a, a stu studio like this, or it's on a stage with musicians, this stuff gets beat off, and for you to have that kind of confidence is phenomenal, and uh, we love Monster Cables. Yeah. I, I love them. They're, they're in my yeah, home. They're you, in a be terrific studio, too, um, and we, uh, quite frankly, we don't have enough of them, but then you get into uh, headphones, you make battery packs, uh, for I mean, you guys just do everything these days. But again, it all goes back to quality. It, 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 quality is so important for you, is it not? Well, I'm an engineer, yeah. right? Uh, and uh, I call uh, 2015 the year of the geek. And I was as hardcore a geek as any of your uh, uh, viewers there. Uh, I was off the deep end. I'd yeah. be totally consumed with technology, electronics, you know, uh, and making things better. So as a perfectionist, all the stuff that I design is stuff that I use myself that I want to have better. Okay, that's where the cable came in. That's where Monster Power uh, came in. So you so you went to the, I remember you went to the, the, the surge protectors because the surge protectors were another weak point and you had to make the surge protectors better. Well, you know, uh, at the time we did uh, improvement surge uh, there were a lot of incumbent 
um, manufacturers of surge protectors and uh, you know, million dollar guarantees if uh, it got hit by lightning. And so our first foray was clean power filter because digital just came into uh, uh, being there, but digital circuits interfered with analog amplifiers. So wow. we created filters that would isolate one from the other and you got better sound. It was just amazing, it was an amazing I, discovery. I love how you look at the market, you see a hole, you see a weak link, and you say, I want to fix it, and it, it, it starts with you want something that's better for you, because you're a geek like me, like these guys, and you obsess over it, like, I mean, the viewers don't know this, I go home and I obsess about what we do. How can we make it better? How, what's tomorrow going to bring? I literally, we, we loaded this all up, and we, in the middle of the night, we, we built this set here, and in the middle of the night, before our first show at CE Week, I woke up in the middle of the night, Oh my God, do we forget yeah. this, do we forget <laughs> that? Are we going to be ready? Yeah, but so, that's your whole gig. Yeah. Your whole gig is to educate uh, your viewers, and that's why they're so in love with Be Terrific. Thank you. Because it's discovery, right? Yes. I'm going to watch Be Terrific because I'll find out things that I would have otherwise known. So that's, that's true. Where we, that's where we come in. And, it, and it's all positive. We love telling stories. Like your story is just so fascinating, so amazing. So then you get into headphones. We got to make headphones better. Another weak link. Everybody's got these terrible earbuds in or they have these terrible, awful sounding things and you guys make headphones better and you, you, you've you got the monster headphones, you've got the Bluetooth monster headphones, but you didn't come out with Bluetooth headphones immediately. You came out with you waited till you could get the technology right to get the Bluetooth sounding good, because Bluetooth's also uh, yeah, been yeah. called a weak technology. Well, we call uh, our Bluetooth, uh, it had to be as good as wired. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've accomplished that. Uh, we're we're kind of late to the party, but our iSport uh, wireless, uh, and I say the iSport uh, for a workout was a uh, wired product for until just recently, until just a, uh, actually six months ago. So, uh, oh, one, oh yeah, yeah, we've got it right here. I got it right there, man. Uh, but when I did Bluetooth, I had two things. One, it had to sound as good as uh, wire, but also I didn't like the way Bluetooth headphones were because uh, typically you use a round cylindrical battery, mm -hmm. but they were big because people wanted longer battery life, right? So these things are kind of stick out of your ear. And I said, no, no, that's, I want to make the world's thinnest uh, Bluetooth headphone. So what I did was I, first of all, use a flat battery, not a round battery, and round batteries are cheaper, so that's uh, more expensive for it. And then I took the circuit board and I folded around the battery. Wow. So it's, uh, everything is really compact, but the uh, use application is I can use this with helmets. I can use this with goggles, you know, and certainly with glasses, and it doesn't fall out of your ear, and you can wash it. So wow, that is those, tremendous. Those are, Let me check these out. Yeah. I love these things. Just going to hold them up for the camera real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. And I want to say something. You know, you just talked about how particular you are. I got the honor and privilege at CES to watch you work a little, and you don't even—I don't think you know I was there. But <laughs> I, I watch you come in, and you—you—you you, you are so particular about everything. You want to know. You want everything to be right. You know, at your stage of the game, at, at what you've accomplished. You could walk around and walk away and go enjoy life and let everybody else, I know you enjoy this, it's not, it's clear, you're passionate about it, but you could go somewhere else, stay in a nice hotel room, let everybody take care of it and show up at the booth. No, you are particular, you make sure that everything is on message, on point, why are we saying this, why are we doing this, why is this color out, why is that color out, let's do the color right, let's make sure, and you, you talk about, you didn't just say, okay, let's throw some Bluetooth headphones together, everybody else is doing it, we'll just copy them or we'll just throw this with that, you said, let's make it better. Everything has to be better. I love that, uh, that you don't stop. You keep the <laughs> oh, foot, man, your foot to the pedal, well, I love it. But uh, you know, I'll tell you what though, it's to the detriment of uh, people working at my company. Uh, if you, uh, you have to be dedicated to that same purpose, because right. uh, I will just kill you with details. But when you buy a monster product, it's right. Okay? But you it's, challenge people. Oh, we challenge people. And it's, you, that's it's, important. It's got to be, uh, Top performer, our uh, mantra is always lead, uh, never follow, you know, and uh, let's see. I think I'm putting them on wrong, but yeah, they're yeah. very, very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that goes on the left. Uh, this points away from you. Okay. Okay, and uh, this goes right in that lobe of your ear. Right here? Yeah. Hold on, let me make sure my microphone's still on. There you go, there, there you we go. go. Right there in here. Go. Yeah, there you go. 
there you go look at that and then i'm going to put it in my other ear now i'm, I'm by the way i'm a germaphobe so i have to really like you to do this on, on uh, so i don't tell people that <laughs> well the audience doesn't know I hey those were on touch uh, you're the first one i don't want them back now <laughs> wow that is yeah, I'm but at, the isolation you hear the, yeah you know, the isolation like totally isolates everything and you don't need noise canceling this yeah, is so. this is phenomenal. I hate noise canceling, yeah, by the yeah. way. I'm not a big fan because noise canceling is done. Th these are really comfortable. I'm very particular about. It. I love these. I got to get a pair of these. Well, um, look, at I got I got to tell your fans about uh, uh, headphones and why we did because okay. the headphones are the new speaker. Uh, yeah. And uh, in those so you days said when I started, yeah. you said instead of just throwing together a headphone, let's make them sound like a speaker, um, and and let's make them be good quality. So. One, one thing I want to say about that is, uh, about noise canceling, is noise canceling puts out a, a low frequency, right? And some people, that bothers. That bothers me. So I like and, not and, having and noise canceling. Anti-frequency. It's yes. anti-music. Yeah. Right? So we only have one noise canceling on our whole company line. We make 50 headphones or so. And it's just for extreme, extreme conditions. All right, so tell me about the speakers for the ears. They're not really headphones. They're speakers for the ears. Ear speakers, if you will. You know, uh, when you have, uh, look, we weren't the first to design a headphone. They've been around for years. You had good manufacturers like uh, Sennheiser, Stax, uh, Sony's, uh, you know, uh, uh, and even Bose was uh, really ubiquitous and provided good quality sound, but none of them had bass. Okay, so when I first designed all of the uh, Beats uh, headphones, uh, the music was changing, it was EDM, it was club music, and the, young, and the kids, they had no way to experience what they heard in a club, and they never had big speakers. I have a, uh, I will not give these up for anybody. I've had people try to buy them off me. I have a pair of Beats, Monster Beats uh -huh. headphones. They're Bluetooth, they're the first Bluetooth that you guys made, oh, yeah, yeah. and they're actually on my backpack if Greg <laughs> can bring them over <laughs> here. And I'll tell you, uh, I, I, they're phenomenal. Um, and it's exactly uh, what you're saying is, you, first of all, they're beautiful. You made them beautiful, yeah. and then you made them amazing, and you added the bass because that's where the music is going, and that's what people, look at the song. It's all about the bass, all about the bass. Well, it's part of the emotion, okay, yeah. because uh, 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 I don't care if it's just classical music. I mean, you've got the thunder, okay, and the power. Uh, that's what you feel. Uh, but. Beyond beats now, we're we're looking at the uh, uh, emotion that you get when you listen to good quality sound. Oh, there you go, I man. kid you there not, you go. right yeah. here. You are serious about I that. I was yeah, not yeah. kidding, and these are the monsters. Oh, uh, yeah, and I designed, and uh, talking about attention to detail, I build every product has my deal on it. I'm intensely uh, into the development of all these, the sound that you hear, the sound, that I personally tune, so it has to have my mark on it. But, uh, and this was the first Bluetooth product that sounded as good as the wired product. I take them everywhere, you're 100% correct. I waited forever to buy Bluetooth headphones, I wanted them to be right, I bought those. Uh, I love that you put multiple cables in here, you gave yeah. us this great little pouch but I take them everywhere. I use them on planes to watch movies. You know, people thought I was crazy. I would run around, no, 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 they have to be perfect, they have to be great. And, and they would say, well, what do you need Bluetooth for? I say, well, I'm on a plane, I travel a lot. I take the seatbelt off to get up to go to the bathroom, the cord rips out, it drives me nuts. I'm sorry, I need to be wireless. Yes. And, and I love them. So, uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you for making oh, those. you're very welcome. Um, very what, welcome. So, t tell me what was the design and, and everything you, you, you put into those. Well, first of all, uh, Getting bass inside of a small enclosure is a uh, you know, really difficult thing to do, otherwise somebody else would have done it. And to get the kind of bass that you know, goes Thumps, like that, yeah. Uh, the, you know, uh, yeah, it's like kids say, it's got a bump, right? Yeah. And uh, you know, Black Eyed Peas was one of the uh, first adopters of this with Will I Am. When he put this thing on, you just wait for that smile. Yeah, and everybody had that smile because it's the first time they could hear the power of uh, a big speaker system. And I was trying to reproduce at that time what the engineers heard inside the control room. It's great. It's great, you did such a great job. I, I love these and they're very comfortable. And then you guys uh, decided it was time to make your own 
uh, speakers for the ears, just as Monster with the Monster brand, and you guys have moved on uh, to do that. And I actually, am, I'll be honest, I'm dying for a pair of these Monsters. Uh, I, yeah. I, they're, I, I, as much as I love those, I secretly uh, sometimes wish that maybe it'll short out or the battery won't last <laughs> long. And I can't kill you them. You got a reason for <laughs> they're, 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 That's right, they're bulletproof though. And But I I, uh, I, I mean, these, they're just unbelievable. Your, your, your headphones oh, yeah. are gorgeous. You've, you've only gone bigger and better. So tell me about these, these are the DNA. Okay. Well, this is uh, a, a really, a, a brand new product. In yeah. fact, it was uh, the DNA 2.0. And uh, our goal, if, if that was to reproduce what the listener heard in the studio, this is to reproduce what the microphone hears. So you're, that's when Alicia Keys wow. sings in that mic, we want that to be in, the, uh, in your ear. Because a, a you know a microphone is the opposite of a headphone. Right. It's same exactly the same principles, and you want to translate that with uh, no interface. It's like the cables, yeah. right? You want that communication link to be uh, dynamic, crystal clear, crisp, and so lifelike. Right. You you can hear the breath in the voice. I, I tried those out before, oh, yeah. and I was so blown away. You could like hear the breath in people's voice, which is so amazing. It makes you feel like you're not only there at a concert, you're like on the stage with the musician. Well, it's where the microphone is. Yeah. We, call, we call it being closer to the music. And, and again, you made them look cool. Because <laughs> you can't, you just, what, how come like when you decided, all right, look, I'm going to make great cables all the way back then. You, were you working out of a garage? Oh yeah. <laughs> my garage. That's the rule in yes. California. Right? It, it is the rule, right? <laughs> so you're working out in the garage. And what made, you know, a lot of guys, especially like, you'll, I'm not going to knock Google, but I look at Google and I say, these are engineers who create every Google product. They only think engineer. And they go, oh, that, look, it makes sense. Most engineers would just say, that's a cable that works. It's good. And, and it's better than any other cable. You designed it and made it beautiful. What made you do that? And, and it, through every product today. Well, because uh, I'm a consumer. Yeah. Okay, and uh, it's like a Ferrari looks like it's going fast when it's in the showroom, right? <laughs> it's emotion. Okay, so the visual part is uh, uh, as far as style, and that's what we did with Beats, is every bit as important. Because you would not buy an ugly car if it performed well. Right? That is that's true. Okay, so it's got to have both. My wife says to me all the time when I drool over some cars because of their performance, she says, Jill, and she goes, but it's ugly. I go, yeah, but it's fast. She goes, but it's ugly. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and the lady decides what you're gonna oh, be driving. Oh, absolutely. Right? Well, yeah. she's right too. And and uh, okay, so these are amazing, um, and they're out. These are the DNA 2.0. This is the Pro line, though. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Unbelievable. And again, comfortable. That's the key. And then these. Well, comfort, uh, weight, everything has to. Yeah, but you know, uh, I gotta tell you, you know why it's so difficult to design a headphone like this? Mm -hmm. This is why? an ecosystem. Okay, this is the room, the amplifiers, the speakers, the, uh, you know, because different rooms will sound different. That different is true. Different rooms will sound different. You have to wear this on your head. So it's not only the drivers. People say, oh yeah, the drivers are really great. No, no. It's the cushions, it's the uh, articulation. You're the right. The and it's also how it folds to travel and stuff too. Uh, but you're 100% right. I, I sat with Mark Levinson years ago when he had, when, after Mark Levinson, when he had cello. And, and, and I, I mean, I sat there with this $300,000 sound system, but he had built the room around it. And the guy with me is saying, well, what does that sound like in my house? And he goes, oh no, we build the room around. You're yeah, going to yeah. spend <laughs> a half a million dollars on this because yeah. we're going to have to recreate this in your house right. with the sound deadening and stuff. Well, but that's the room. That's the room. That's, that's what I was going to say. So every part of this has yeah. to be engineered as a holistic uh, wow. ecosystem. You know, everything works, you know, the little, Joint, yeah. If I change that joint, it'll sound different. And you, uh, you work so tirelessly on this. You're really hands-on with all of this stuff today. You're still engineering. Uh, you're still in crazy. It. Yeah. it drives my people crazy. I right? could yeah, imagine yeah. it does. <laughs> um, can I try those on real quick? Oh, absolutely. I, I love these. Oh yeah. my gosh, these are oh, unbelievable. Man, that looks good too. <laughs> wow, man. I love the way these look. Uh, well, you know, uh, on this particular 
DNA is such an individual thing. Yeah. Uh, so we don't want it to be round. Don't want it to be oval. I love this. You know, there's there, there's already headphones that, dude. I wanted something that was iconic. I I, I think this is iconic. We got to give amazing. a side view though. Look so at this, guys. How about yeah, that? Yeah, man. I I need to get a pair of these. These <laughs> are gonna replace my Beats. It's done. It's done. Oh, it's yeah. gotta happen. I gotta get. Well, a it's pair. got some pure monster sound. Is what we call this it. This is what the, I've got. The yeah. The whole technology. Well, oh, you gotta hear this. Man. This is. I well, I heard it before. Oh, I came yeah. over. It, it's <laughs> unbelievable. I, that's what I'm saying. I heard you well, can hear the breath of the power, the articulation. Of the because yeah. if I can get closer to the music, I get a better emotional connection with the artist, right? Yeah. I don't care if it's EDM or Alicia Keys vocal, right? You're, you're right, and you're 100% right. I, you can hear the breath. You, it, it feels like you're on stage. It feels like you're with them. <laughs> this is amazing. They're amazing. These are beautifully done, and they're thank beautiful, you. and they're thank very you. comfortable. Thank you. Thank oh, you. congratulations. Yes, thank and you, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. You make thank such you. a great product. All right, tell me about these. These uh, are uh, these are gold. These would be a little too loud for me, color-wise. But they actually look cool. I, not don't too loud for you, man. You look good. <laughs> look good. Here, uh, close it up just a little bit, though. Okay. Because it's sticking out. Oh, there you go. There How's you go. that? Oh. What do you man, guys think? Come on. Come Adam, on. you like this? Come on. Can I rock these? I oh, look yeah. cool with these. He can... Go to the front of line to any club if you wear those. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just show up like this. This is perfect. Yeah, there you go. You've made, you know what you did? You made this a, a wearable accessory. This was not a wearable accessory before. People either wore it like this or they walked like this. You remember? Well, and they put them in the cases, or, or they put them in the cases uh, yeah. in their bag, and they looked so silly. They'd walk down the street with a case for their headphones. But then, because your headphones are so stylish and always have been, this is what people do, and it looks cool. Well, and you know what? I can rock that. I walk. I swear to you. I get off a plane. I always travel in a sports coat. My grandmother told me, please, always travel in a sports coat. And <laughs> I, you never know who you meet and what yeah. business you can do. I, I'm almost always in a suit. And I, I get off the plane like. And what do I do? Because I'm, I'm watching a movie. And when I get off, I just do it like this and walk through the airport. And I feel cool. Well, you walk through with that. People are gonna say, he's more than cool. <laughs> he's uh, hip. All right. Now I've got two pairs of headphones yeah. to get. I love these. These. Yes. I am, I am hip like this. All right, I'm wearing these for the rest of the interview. Yeah. I man. think I should wear these for the rest of the day on Beat Terrific. Everybody at interview has to watch me with the Beats on. You I know, mean, the, uh, the monster. Uh, uh, don't say Beats. I'm not. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. That's uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just history. Yeah, yes, it's history. Yeah, we talk history, though. we got to talk history to get to today. Yeah. We talked about your history. Um, what, so these are the DNA 2.0. What are these called? Uh, those are called 24Ks. I love and these. And the reason why we went to that style uh, it, because first of all, is oriented toward the uh, urban music, toward the slamming uh, uh, sound, but you can play it loud and not hurt your ears. Show, uh, show, me, look, show me about these, yeah. Okay, so the look had to be like uh, iconic. And we first designed these for DJs, okay? So okay. you could, you know, you could uh, flip one ear up and uh, you, know, you know how the D DJs work. But I wanted to get something that was totally different when you, it's like driving around in a Lamborghini, right? Who is that dude? You, okay. you got to, you're so, right. So uh, when uh, the hipsters wore this, uh, Meek Mill, my guy, who's uh, coming out with a new album pretty soon, is uh, the hipster's hipster, you know, and uh, Great, great uh, uh, artist. You got to know. he broke those for us. That's awesome. You got to know everybody. Do you? I don't know everybody, but I know a lot of people. A lot of people, yeah, they, yeah. and they they gotta love you. Uh, I gotta imagine. I'm a baller now. Now I'm a baller. I like. There's that. a movie coming out. There is baller. I yeah. love that. Yeah. You know, you know who, who Jim Jones made that famous the, in the Giants, the New York Giants. Uh, he came out with that song "Ballin," and then uh, that was the year oh, the Giants won the Super on, Bowl on, in 2008. Yeah. They used that as their anthem. Wow. I've been I've been in his recording studio. Do you want to know this? I've been in his recording studio, 27th Street in New York City, or actually on Broadway between 27th and 28th. So wow, I'm sure you've had wild experiences like this. You got to get security, the elevator. You get in the yeah. elevator and they call you up. You can't even push a button. They look at the camera, then they pat you down. The whole deal. Uh, it's crazy. And monster cables everywhere. Monster headphones. It's oh, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And this guy records uh, all his hit music there. Well, I watched him record his uh, one of his hit songs. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Just watched him doing it. It was well, crazy. They're fanatics. They're fanatics. So you you then you then took it for and said, we've got to make a Bluetooth speaker that's good because there are a lot of junky ones on the market, but it's got to be good for like the pool and the beach and your home and your office, and you've got this. Well, this is a brand new product, uh, Michael. Uh, you know, we have a smaller version of this, which is our entry into Bluetooth. So uh, each invention has to have something that's different. So the superstar is what we call it, was small, 
the same size as your phone, so it goes on all the pockets that uh, you would keep your phone in. You know, your vest pocket here, or your uh, laptop bag, or your backpack. Uh, and so that came out about a year ago, and it was just a smash here because it sounds so phenomenal for such a small can we, we can play this a little, I think. No, we, no, well, no well, here, so this is my act yeah. two for 2015. I said, what can I do that's totally different? And I said, what if I put superstar performance in a speaker that floats? So this floats. This floats, man. A all right, so let's get the sound okay. first. I think, right. I think uh, uh, he's Robin, uh, uh, he, oh my gosh, that's loud. And it sounds good. You feel that bass, right? Yeah, bass and, and the, listen to clarity in the highs. The voice, unbelievable. Yeah, the uh, percussion. Wow, when you hear this, are you ever, I mean, are you ever amazed at what you've done? You gotta be so proud. It's hard, you know, it's hard work. I mean, I'm not am amazed, I'm never satisfied. <laughs> You're never satisfied? You listen to this, you don't think it's good enough? Uh, you, oh, we can I, tweak it? Look at. My team is uh, kind of fed up with you. Why do you think we call it DNA 2.0? <laughs> <laughs> now you have a couple of kids. Yeah. Uh, you, I know you're proud of them. How many kids do you have? Four. And, 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 and are they all in the business? Only one is in the CE business. That's my son, Kevin. Okay. Uh, he wanted to strike out on his own. And of course, he's the headphone generation. So he started a company called Soul Republic. Very nice. Very successful, uh, you know, focus on EDM, DJs, sure. and that kind of thing, and uh, you know, a really youthful, young feel to it. I imagine that all your kids are, uh, you're proud of all your kids, but your kids have to be proud of you. I mean, <laughs> I know that. I mean, we're proud of you, thank you. This is the true American dream. You've come here uh, to, 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 to make better speakers. You, you're, you're placed on this earth to make better speakers, yeah. better headphones, and, and cables, well, and you, you did it out of works? a garage. Well, I want to. I want. I know we have a little ducky pool here. Can we do it? You want to show me something? I, I want to show yeah. you how. I, I want to show your audience how cool this is. You show that anything is possible, though. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. Here we go. All right, let's put it in All the right. pool. This, uh, this, We've got uh, a ducky pool this here. This is uh, get rid of your rubber duck, and. I can't dance, by the there way. You, go. you can dance. I can't. <laughs> in your spa, in your pool. I mean, come on. Adam, we got to get that at the pool. Uh, in oh, the shower. Yeah. We're going to do a B-terrific show from the pool in a, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I think we we got to have that there. because uh, Now, you can get it wet. You can just dunk that? Oh, yeah. Now, this is, uh, we do something called water dance. Okay. You know Bellagio? Yes. There. <laughs> I love that. There's the Bellagio fountains. Oh, no, wow. But, you know, what it's actually doing, though, is showing you how much air it can move. That is because amazing. Because it's overcoming the weight of the water. So there's a, there's a rhyme and a reason to you know it, what you but did? It's, it's just so much fun. Every kid in New York City needs that. They can go up to the fire hydrant. Instead of putting the fire hydrant and running out through it, they get the speaker, they have their music, they flood it a little, and then, then they do this. That's awesome. And it's... And it's a speakerphone. It's a speaker. And it's a speakerphone. So in the Thank shower, you. hang this in the shower. Do you have the case for it? I love, I love that. Uh, no, watch this, watch this. I love that you added a phone cable. Really. I always say that you need phone. I want my phone. My phone's what's playing, and I want to be able to take a call anywhere. And you just hang that in the shower. Uh, an acoustic, transparent case. Wow. You know. Yeah. Put it on the backpack. Throw it on the bicycle. How? How long will the battery last? Uh, this is like a uh, eight-hour battery. Wow. Yeah, depending on how loud you play it. Eight hours. Yeah. Wow. And then you've got these. These are battery packs. I mean, I couldn't believe this was a battery pack for my cell phone. You know, again, my only. This is the only battery that we make. Yeah. Uh, because there's a lot of batteries out there, and I didn't really want to do the same as everybody else. But how about a battery pack that is the same size as a credit card? So it fits wherever a credit card is, in your wallet, in the purse, in the clutch, you know. And this it, is the thinnest. That, I, 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 I can't even tell you how many we need of those. That is amazing. That it's, it's necessary, you can't, it doesn't matter how big the phone is, how big the battery is in the phone, I'm always running out of power. Well, it's called power card. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we say size does matter. Shaq is the spokesperson. Shaq is the best. <laughs> he called, you know what he called, I, I, when I interview Shaq, he goes, what's up little man? How you doing little man? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's Good to see you, little, little man. man. Well, that's true. <laughs> so this is uh, unbelievable. How many milliamps is in that? 
you know, we don't like to talk about milliamp hours, but oh, I'll, okay, I'll tell you oh, yeah. how much it is. Okay, but uh, because it's like watts. Okay. Yeah. You know, what does it really mean? Here's what this do does. You can go from a standing dead start, red on your phone, and in uh, 30 seconds, you could be making phone calls and doing your text. Wow, that's amazing. So it's not how much power it's got, it's I agree how fast it gets it into the phone. And, and I'm not about, I've always, I've never been, I, I, I'm, ne I'm, not a, I'm not a stats guy. I always say, when people show me things, I go, but how does it work? You know, we talk video, you talk 4K, 8K. I don't care about 4K, 8K, I want to know how it looks. Yeah. Yeah. That's all, raw video, how does it look? It's all I care about, and, and it doesn't matter. I know the stats, I have to know them to talk tech and to calibrate and yeah, all that, yeah. but I just want to know how it looks, how it sounds, how it powers. You've got one other thing you got to show us. Okay. The uh, sound stage, this thing is, uh, this I've been is, drooling uh, over this since you got on set, and I've been saving it for last. Well, you know, sound stage is, we're not the first, we're kind of a follower in this category, but we wanted to make it better. You know, what's really booming right now is, wireless, Wi-Fi enabled speakers. So you don't have to run wire to every room in the house. Sure. It's all Wi-Fi, right? And, and, you, and you know, there are a lot of home automation companies out there, but they're expensive and you got to rewire your whole house. And then if you want to make a change, it's like nuts. Or if there's an upgrade that comes out, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And it's not for everybody. There, This is something you're talking about for everybody that anybody can use. You can put all over your house. You don't have to rewire anything. It's perfect. Yeah, you know, that, that's the beauty. Monster that, sound. Th that business is booming. So this is a product we got called Sound Stage. But you know, you talked about your wife. Yes. And wouldn't uh, ride in a car that looks ugly. <laughs> you don't want to have a speaker that looks like a speaker box. Wow. So uh, there are two things about this product. One is the wireless performance. We're the only ones that have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I love it. Okay, because Wi-Fi doesn't go everywhere. Right. It doesn't go through uh, doesn't uh, concrete, and uh, uh, so you got to have Bluetooth, and every phone has a Bluetooth, so okay. you can stream to it without any kind of other uh, networks. Awesome, and it's beautiful. This is the Ferrari, so we've got the Lamborghini of headphones and the Ferrari of speakers here. Yeah, feel this. Uh, and we didn't oh, add any weights. We got some weights. We didn't some add, we didn't <laughs> add <laughs> any weights to it. Well, that's wow. Not us. Okay. That's because it's of it's all the technology and the stuff. power. Uh, and, the, and you've got subs in here, clearly. Well, the sound yeah. oh, and the sub uh, passive radiators in, uh, in wow. the back. So the technology on this is unbelievable. And when you play it, you know, we have three sizes. We kind of put this in the middle. So which one's playing? They all think it's the big one. <laughs> uh, and we had one uh, reviewer the other day. He looked underneath the table to see if there was a subwoofer there. Wow. You know, uh, but uh, to get big sound of such a small uh, product is... Uh, and you can put multiples in your house. You can have them all over your house. As many as you want. You got, There's a, a app uh, that's a controller that you can uh, download. You can assign the different musics, the different music streams to each different speaker. Or if your kids say, I can't listen to what dad's looking, boom. Uh, 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 near field com uh, communications touches it, wow. and you're connected. Wow! You got, you think of everything. You yeah. do. What What's the future hold? What's next? Well, uh, the future is really uh, everything connected to everything. Okay, so uh, you know people call it the uh, Internet of Things, where this talks to other <coughs> products around the house. That's why we partner with Qualcomm. Okay. Qualcomm is the biggest chip manufacturer sure. in the world. We're not experts in uh, Wi-Fi. So we went to the experts in Wi-Fi. See, you're very smart too, because you, you put together the team. You're, you say, okay, I always said, you know, when, when Schwarzenegger ran for governor, I said what, he, why he could be a good governor is because he knows how to put teams together. And there are a lot of people who would argue he was a good governor, not a good governor, whatever, but the point was he could put a team of people, he was smart enough to know he couldn't do everything, put a team of people around you, and that is terrific. So, like you said, you don't do Wi-Fi, let's get the chip manufacturer that's the best, Qualcomm, everybody knows that, they're in a, almost every mobile device at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and they were huge in the Blackberries and the Kyoceras when they, even when they first started doing yeah. that stuff. So you partner with them to make sure it's the best technology 
which results in the best product, which results in the best for the end user, but ultimately it comes back to the best for you. Well, and we added the uh, Bluetooth function, because yeah. they were Wi-Fi only. I love that, okay. I love that, I love that. It's so great. Yeah, so no, it's a special product. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, it's great, it's Michael, been an thank honor you, and a you. privilege, and I'm humbled. You, It's the true <laughs> American dream story. Honor is mine, man. You sit in a garage in California, and you build this company into a massive company that's a dream. I got, I got to thank a couple people for making this happen. Robin is unbelievable. I've been, he and I have been working together since before CES to get you on wow, set. It's been hard. You. I know you. you're very busy. I can't thank you enough for your time. And Sarah and the rest of your team have been phenomenal in scheduling this and making this happen. But I got to thank you. Thank you for taking your time, for sitting with us, for not saying I've only got two minutes, for telling your story. That's what Be Terrific is about. Be Terrific is about positive content, telling great stories, sharing information. And I know that our viewers, the Terrifics, are so happy well, to have watched I was this one of your viewers when I started the company. You know, just because everybody's uh, passionate, they want to know how it all works, and that was me. So I am one of them, which is why I design the products that I do. You are a terrific, that's what we call the audience. <laughs> okay, you there are you. terrific. And you are a monster. Yes, <laughs> I love it. All right, man. Thank you so much. All right, Michael, I really thank appreciate you. it. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to have you on, and uh, I know you guys love that as well. I'm sorry I didn't get to any of your questions. It just it's, it's so amazing, but next time, that is Noel Lee from Monster. You got to check out Monster. All their products are amazing. We use them, you use them, and you got to use more of them. This stuff has been unbelievable. What a treat. This is your live continuing coverage of CE Week 2015. Check us out on social media, at Be Terrific TV. Don't forget to join our Slack chat to join the conversation in real time, at uh, uh, beterrific.com slash Slack, and of course, Send us a line, we love your feedback. Connect at beterrific.com. Go to monster.com, don't waste any more time. Monster Mon products, monster Monsterproducts.com, monsterproducts.com. If you want a job, go to monster.com. If, if you want a job, go to monster.com. <laughs> if you want the cool products, which you knew, go to monsterproducts.com, monsterproducts.com. We'll be back right after this with a whole lot more. We love you guys, you're the Terrifics, and we love Monster too. don't go anywhere. Uh.